Hello everybody, welcome to the October channel update. It's been about a month since the last one, because I think we did it on like September 25th or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to try and do it at least once a month. My webcam is dusty. That tells you how long ago I used it. Ugh. I need to dust my room. Anyway, it's ending October now. It's, end, uh, it's October 22nd, so I thought we'd do a channel update. Just talk about the state, some future thing, current series, future series, etc. First things first, current series we have going on right now, uh, still Planet Based Kingdom and Rebel Galaxy. Uh, Planet Based I'm conflicted about because I have episode 26 up, I have episode 27, 28 recorded, those are still on the snow planet. And I'm thinking either ending the series or starting new on the moon, the last planet. Well, it's not a planet, it's a moon, but that, it's very difficult. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we'll be able to, oh, we'll probably be able to do it eventually, but it might be very difficult. Uh, we're 27, 28 episodes in, so it might be time to end that series. I'd like to replace it with another sort of base building game or RTS or something, but not too many on the horizon. There's a couple I'm looking at. So let me know what you guys think. Well, we have a couple days because I still have those two episodes to put up. And then Kingdom, doing good. We have one and two put up. I have uh, through episode six recorded. So those will be going strong. Kingdom's really fun. Like we could probably get at least 15 to 20 episodes out of Kingdom because I'm really enjoying it. Not a lot of views, but the people that are watching it are loving it. We're getting a lot of likes, a lot of comments. Awesome job. Uh, we have episode, or up to episode 9 of Rebel Galaxy. I have 10, 11, 12 recorded. We'll probably get to be 15 to 20 episodes of that before we end that series. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, the combat's getting a little repetitive, but well, maybe once we get to the new systems, things will be different. All right, so that's what we have for current series. Uh, I did end sub-level zero a couple weeks ago. <laughs> or last week. We got the five episodes in that. Roguelikes, I, I'm bad at recording difficult games because I lose concentration when I'm, having, when I'm having to talk, so... That game was fun. We got five episodes out of it. Nothing to shake a stick at. Shopkeep, I'm definitely going to be taking a look at again. Definitely going to bring that back. Um, the, the developers have been really cool. They've been really open and sh giving us previews as to what comes. They have different phases of their development. They're currently in phase two, which includes the new quest systems, a champion system where you actually have the champion of your shop that go out and goes out and does quests. They're creating crafting systems. So developers have been really good at that. I've, been, I've I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far. I've gone off camera and played a little bit, and it seems pretty neat. So we're probably going to be taking a look at Shopkeep once again within the next coming weeks, uh, possibly making it an every other day series, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday series. Universe Sim, still waiting on that. <laughs> it got delayed back in mid-September. Still no word on it. You guys seem like you're super interested in it. I covered the demo, which was just a tech demo, just basically showing off the graphics of the game. Wasn't much to it, but it is interesting. It seems like the a cooler version of Spore <laughs> mixed with, I don't know, Civilization. So hopefully we'll be able to get access to that relatively soon. Oh, I know they've been having some problems, so it's not their fault. I mean, I'm not blaming the developers. I'm just letting you guys know if in case you were wondering where that was and if it's ever going to show up on the channel again. Uh, I've been enjoying the first impressions videos you've been doing. I've, I've been doing them sparingly like we did uh, Pixel Galaxy a couple weeks ago and then like a week, two weeks ago we did Kaiju Panic. So I think I'm going to keep that going. Oh jeez, I got the sun's coming on me now. Every Friday we're going to make that first impressions Friday or fifth, fifth I suppose. So we're going to start doing that. I already have the one recorded for this Friday. It might be the same day this video goes out. This video is either going out on Thursday or Friday. I haven't quite decided yet. Probably Thursday. And in terms of current series, yeah, that looks like that's about it. I'd like to eventually go back to Flame and the Flood uh, further down in development. That got really crappy views, but I really enjoyed that game. It was a lot of fun. So that's it for current and future series. Oh, well, not future. I mean, there are going to be random games coming out that I'm going to be wanting to check out because sometimes they pop up on Steam and say, okay, let's do this. Let's do a series. And, okay, and next thing, topic of discussion, Fallout 4. What are we going to do about Fallout 4? What are we going to do, Cormac? You want to come up? There we go. What are we going to do about Fallout 4, Cormac? I know, whoring my dog out for views because that's the whole point of this video. <laughs> hey. Hey, 
What are you doing? No. Huh? No, don't you don't you do it. Don't you, oh. <laughs> Fallout 4. I am so excited for that. It's three weeks from two days ago, right? Something like that. I don't know if I want to do... I'm probably not going to play on the channel. Um, Because the problem with Fallout 4 is... One, it's going to be covered by all the major channels. There's no way I can get search results for that. Except for specific key terms, which you might be able to finagle. But not a lot, so I won't be able to get a lot of traffic for that. Two, if I do do it... It's going to be a ridiculously long series. Like, we're talking, like, plus 50 episodes. Just because these types of games are so long and intricate that it takes you forever to get anywhere in them. Even though you're still, like, not, like, it's grindy and slow and boring. It's just, it's a very long game. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. But, what I'm thinking a good compromise would be was to stream the game. Either on Twitch or YouTube Gaming. And then upload those videos, or, yeah, transfer those videos to YouTube. So it'll be like, they'll be out in like two, three hour, like hour and a half, three hour chunks. So that way, if you guys are interested in watching them, you can on there. And then we can also play them on t Twitch. And that way I'm not like obligated to play the entire game. It's just going to be for fun, depending on how much I can stream. Because early November is not going to be too busy for me. Because I still have school. Uh, the day after Fallout 4 is Veterans Day. So it comes out on the 10th of Veterans Day is the 11th. And I don't, so I don't have class on the 11th, and it's a Wednesday, and I don't work on Wednesday, so that's all I'm going to do that Wednesday, is probably just play Fallout 4 and probably stream it. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for Fallout 4. Fallout 3 was one of my favorite games of all time. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted by my other, my other monitor. Next thing we need to talk about. Now that the channel is getting larger, well, it's still small, we're, we should hit 13,000 subscribers probably today t or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, because we're at 12,987, so it should be 13 more to 13,000. Hey, that's funny. Um, we're gonna... S I've been starting to get a little interest in sponsored videos. And this is something I'm conflicted about. Because one, this isn't my job. Like, I've had people think that this is my job. I have 13,000 subscribers. I'm only getting, like, 260,000 views a month. I would need to get at least four times that to get near minimum wage. Four times my current views. That's a crap thing. So around a million to get close to minimum wage. Even that's even that's like bare minimum minimum wage. Especially in my state. I think minimum wage in Arizona is like eight sixty or something. Yeah. So I don't make much off of YouTube. Uh, very little actually. <laughs> I am a waiter. I work at a restaurant. I get paid five dollars an hour plus tips. Honestly, with tips, it's pretty decent money. But I only work four days a week because I'm in class full time and I do YouTube and I do. Uh, photography on the side so I have been approached a few times about doing uh, just a single sponsored video so it'd be more money for me but just it's just like a small payout but it's definitely worth doing the only problem is the games aren't things I would normally put on this channel uh, like mobile games etc I have no problem with that I just don't, there's a stigma with doing sponsored series and mobile games of selling out, um, which is something I would just like to avoid. If you guys are fully against it, that's fine. Um, I'll take that in consideration, but honestly, it'll be, in in a month, I put up, on a monthly average, what, two videos a day, so 60 videos a month, and so if one of them is a mobile game or a sponsored video, and you have no interest in watching it, it's fine, don't watch it. But I don't think it would be that harmful for the channel for that to happen. Definitely won't be a staple of it. Like, there are some channels, some very, very large channels, that have become half... They've been playing, like, half-sponsored mobile games. And they're probably making a crap ton of money off of it. Because they're pretty big channels. But it really made me disinterested in their channel. And I was no longer interested in following them. And I just don't want that to happen to you guys and me. So, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. It would honestly be... I'm getting a weird reflection on my face from the mic. It would honestly just be one video. It, at the most, like, one or two a month. It depends on, like, what sort of interest I can get. And that would definitely go to supporting the channel, supporting me, supporting Cormac and his toys, because he loves toys. Come on. There you go. I guess she loves them so much. And, yeah, I'm a poor-ass college student, and I'll do anything to get by. <laughs> 
Ew, it's something on my chair. Okay, I keep being distracted. That was awesome. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on current and upcoming series, the potential sponsorships, and yeah, and Fallout 4, I guess. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any inputs. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel, head on to patreon.com slash ctop. I did add some new tiers. Like, one of them, you actually get the sponsor game. So if you hit that, if you hit that reward, um, you get to pick a video of a game. And maybe even I'll do, like, a couple episodes on it. And it'll be labeled patron sponsored, blah, 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 by so-and-so. And then some other tiers, like, you get shout-out in their video. Um, you buy Cormac a new toy because he burns through them relatively fast. So, yeah, if you're interested, head on down to Patreon. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another channel update. Maybe in another two, three weeks. We'll see. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching, and a quick shout out to my patron supporters Burt Macklin FBI, Click, The New Warden, Deepay, Josh P, Roland, Alexander S, Cameron W, and Adam Gast. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash ctop. Thanks for watching.